In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell and deliver your digital products using a software tool called System.io. Now, if you've not heard of System.io, it's essentially an all-in-one marketing platform that allows you to build sales funnels, landing pages, websites, run your email automations, create and host and sell courses and so on. Now, all resources I'm going to share with you in this video are going to be linked up in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find them. Now, with that said, let's get into the video and I'll show you how to set this up. So the first thing you're going to need in order to be able to sell your digital products is a digital product sales funnel. And I've created a digital product sales funnel template that you can use here in the description below this video. You can click this button here, enter your name and email, and you'll then receive an email from me with a unique link that allow you to import this sales funnel instantly directly into your system.io account. Then you can customize it and use it as you wish. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sell your digital products and deliver them to your customers using this particular sales funnel template. Now here is the sales page and the order form for this sales funnel template. Now I've spent some time and put in all the elements that you're gonna need in order to ensure that this funnel template converts as best as it can for you. And all you need to do is come through here and fill in the blanks with your own information. And when you download this funnel template, you also get a step-by-step -step instruction video from me to show you exactly how to set it all up, how to edit it, how to customize it, to make it match you and your brand and your colors and so on. And also I show you how to remove any elements that you might want to remove and how to add other things. If you want to add upsells and downsells, I also show you how to do that as well. So once you've imported my digital product funnel template into your system.io account by clicking the link in the email that I'm going to send to you, you'll find your template in your system.io account by coming to the funnels tab here. And in the side menu here, it's this one labeled digital products template. Now, first of all, if you want to change the name of this template, you might want to change it to the name of whatever product you're selling on that template. Come over to the dots on the right and go to settings. And now here is where you can change the name of the funnel to whatever you want. Now, the first thing we're going to do before we play around with the template, we want to first make sure that you set up your payment gateways. So this will allow you to be able to take payments from your customers. So come over to the menu in the right and click on settings. And then in the left sidebar, come to payment gateways. And now on this page, system.o gives you several different payment gateways that you could choose from. I've gone with Stripe and PayPal. They're the two probably most popular and the ones I use. Now I'd recommend that you use at least two. Now you don't need to use 10 or anything like that, but if you just use one, like for example, if you only used PayPal, you might come across customers that want to buy your product, but they don't use PayPal, so then they don't buy from you. So personally, I'd recommend PayPal because you know a lot of people do use it and Stripe. Stripe will then enable your customers to use their credit card or debit card to make a purchase from you. So they're probably the two most convenient. And all you do to set them up is on the right, you'll see for each of them that haven't yet been connected, there's a button to connect. You click the button to connect and then you follow the instructions to connect your payment gateway. Once that's done, you also want to set your currency. So whatever currency you want to collect payments in, come over to this tab here, which says payment pages. And on this page from the drop down here, you can select which currency you want to take payments in. Personally, I collect in US dollars. Even though I am based in the UK, I sell my products in US dollars because it's the most universally accepted. And then once you've made your selection, click save. And now let's head over to your funnel. So go back to the funnels tab and we're going to go to the digital product template, which is the one we're going to be working on. And now inside your template, you have your order form and the thank you page. So the order form is the sales page and the order form. And then you have the thank you page, which is the page your customer will be redirected to after they've made their purchase. Now, if you also wanted to add upsell and downsell pages to this funnel, then in the setup instructions I send you with this funnel template, I've also sent you a video that shows you how to add upsell and downsell pages if you want to do that. Now, if we go to the order form page, here is the URL path. And this is basically the domain that your first page, which is you know, essentially the home page of this funnel will be. So this funnel template, once you put it into your account, it will be initially set up on the subdomain of system.io, but you're gonna to wanna to change that for a custom domain because it looks way more professional. Now, that is a separate tutorial and I've left a link in the description below this video to show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do that. And then on the thank you page, I've just changed the slug here to say thank you. So you can leave this as is after you've added your custom domain by following up the tutorial. So let me first show you how to edit your funnel template. So let's head over to the order form and now go over to the right where it says edit page. And now on this page here is where we can see our sales page. And I've spent quite a bit of time creating this template to include all the elements that you're going to need to sell digital products effectively. Now this is based on a high converting template. So this structure is proven to work well. If you're new to selling digital products online, then I recommend just keeping the structure. If you know what you're doing, then feel free to change it up as much as you want. 
Now, first of all, it starts off with a headline. We have a countdown timer here. Now, just bear in mind, any elements that you feel you don't want or don't need, you can remove them. So if you feel that you don't actually need a countdown timer for your product, you can just highlight the element and click on the trash icon to remove it. And if you want to put it back, you can come over to the back button to replace it. Now, when I sent you this funnel template in the email, I also sent you a step-by-step -step instruction video to show you how to customize every aspect of this template, including customizing it with your own brand colors, your own images, and essentially your own message. So you make it unique to you. So I'm not going to show you that in this video. I'm not going to waste your time, but you can watch that video I've sent you if you need help customizing this template how you want it. Basically, you have your main headline and then your VSL, which is your video sales letter. Now, video sales letters work really well if you're selling something that's fairly expensive, like a course or a consulting package, something like that. But if you're selling a lower cost item like an ebook, then a video sales letter is often not really needed. So if you want to delete it, you can just hit the trash icon here to remove it. And then the sales page starts off by highlighting the customer's problems they're facing. And of course, you can change these images for your own images if you want to, or feel free to use these if they fit your message. And then this is part where you can introduce yourself and tell the customer a little bit about how you found this solution that you're offering them. Then here is where you actually introduce your solution, which is the product you're selling to them. Tell the customer a bit about what they get with the product and the first introduction of the price. Then you tell the customer about the features and the benefits. And again, if you want to delete any of these sections, you can. If there's too many of these, you can delete them. Or if you want more, you can hit the duplicate button here to add more of these feature and benefit sections. And then we come to the section that breaks down the course or the product, whatever it is you're selling. So the customer knows exactly what they're getting with their purchase. And then we introduce the bonuses. If you're offering bonuses to the customer, then here is where you list them out. And again, if you're just selling an ebook, then it's not usually generally necessary to offer a big bonus stack. So if you are selling a low cost product with this funnel, then feel free to remove various sections like this if you feel it's not needed. Then here we recap to the customer everything they get with the product plus the bonuses. And then we've got the guarantee. And then next we have the order bump. So if you have an order bump product to sell, then great, you can use this section. If you don't have an order bump, then you can either just delete this section and then just sell your main product from the sales page. Or if you would like to have an order bump product, but you don't currently have one, then I've got another link for you in the description below this video where you can get 10 free credits for high quality PLR products. That will then enable you to search through a database of all different kinds of products in different niches. Of course, you'd search your own niche, find products that would appeal to your customer. You can use those 10 free credits to obtain the product. And because they're private label rights products, you can then resell those products as your own. So that's a great place to look if you need to find a product for your order bump and you don't yet currently have your own product to offer here. Now, generally speaking, I don't usually recommend PLR products because if I'm honest, most of them are pretty crap but this is actually the only website I do recommend for PLR products because they're pretty decent from this particular website. And that link is in the description below this video. So now let me show you how to set up the delivery of your digital product once a customer makes a purchase from you. And also I'm going to show you how to set up your pricing. So I'm just going to go back to the funnel steps. And the first thing we want to do is we want to come over to the top menu here and go to tags. And we want to set up a tag. So this will allow us to tag our customer so we know which customers have purchased which products. That way we'll easily be able to flop with the right customers with the right messaging after they've purchased the product. So to set up the tag, come over to the button in the top right that says create. And now I'm just going to name this tag digital products demo tag. That's just for us so we know what this tag is for, for this demonstration. I click save and now my tag is created at the top here. And now we need to go back to our funnels. So go back to the funnels menu go back to the funnel we're working on, which is this one, this digital product template. And now I'm going to show you how to set up your product on the back end. So you'll automatically be delivered to your customer upon purchase. And I'll show you that first of all, if you're selling a course or community access. And then secondly, I'll show you how to set this up if you're selling a different kind of digital product, like an ebook or software product or an audio file, something like that, because that, for those types of products, you're going to have to set this up a little bit differently. So first of all, these are the steps if the product you're selling is a course or community access. So on the order form page, you'll come to step configuration here. And then at the bottom of this page, you've got two options here. If you're selling a digital or physical product, of course, we're going to select digital product. And now here we get some more options open up. And the first one is resources. So come over to the right hand side. This is the plus button. And then we now have a drop down menu. And now here the options we have for our resources are courses, course bundles, tags or communities. So if you're selling a course or a course bundle or community, this is exactly the same process. 
And now if this is the case, then your course or course bundle will be set up in your system to account underneath the products tab and then under courses. And if you're selling a community access, then your community here will be set up also in your system to account under products and communities. So I'm presuming if that's the case, then you've already got either your course or your community set up in your system to account. So if any of these three types of products you're selling here, the process is exactly the same. So I'm just going to show it to you for courses. So let's say I'm selling a course with this funnel. And now we get a new drop down option appear here. And then from the drop down menu, I will see the courses that I already have set up in my system that I account again, which is under products courses. And now I'm just going to select this one membership site demo. So that's a course I already have set up and that's the name I gave to that course. And because it's already set up previously, that's why it's appearing in the drop down menu here. So please make sure you first set up your course in System.io before you configure this order form page. Now, the next option System.io gives us is what kind of access type do we want to give to the customer? If it's full access, partial access or drip content, I'm going to select full access to the customer upon purchase. I don't want to grant access on a specific date. I just want to give them full access immediately upon purchase. So I'm going to leave this switched off and I don't want to expire their access to this course. I want to give them full lifetime access. So I'm going to also leave this to be switched off and then click the save button. And now that is set. The second thing I want to do is hit the plus icon again for resources. And the second resource I want to add is a tag. So now here I'm going to choose that tag that I set up a few moments ago, which is this one digital product demo tag click save. So now what will happen is once the customer makes the purchase, my system.io account will instantly tag the customer with this tag. So then I can see in the back office of my system.io account, which customers purchased this specific product. And then system.io will also instantly deliver the course access to this customer on my behalf by sending them an email with instructions for them to create a username and password for them to access the course. So that is now all taken care of for me. And you only need to set this up once and you're good to go. So now the next step is we want to set the price. So come over to the right hand side again and click on the little plus button. And now the first option we get is to choose a price plan type. So from this drop down menu, the options we've got, is it a one time payment, a subscription or a payment plan? I'm going to go for one time payment. And then here, if I already have price plans set up, I can choose from the drop down system. .io will show me the price plans I already have set up. If you're creating a new price plan for this particular product and it's not yet set up, then just click on this little link here. It says create a new one. And now here you get more options to now create your price plan. So now here we need to create a name for the price plan. And this here, it says this will be displayed on our order form. So it will display here to the customer. So whatever you name the price plan here will show to the customer here. And then in the second field is the name that you will be able to see for this product in your back office of your system to account. So for me personally, I just keep them the same. So I'm just going to call it this to call demo and I'd copy and paste the same. Now here, statement descriptor. This is really important. Whatever you put here is what will appear on your customer's bank or credit card statement once they've made the purchase from you. So just make it very clear to the customer when they see that statement, because the last thing you want is them to receive that statement or look at it a month or six weeks later and then not recognize the payment on their credit card and then phone the credit card com companies cancel it just because they couldn't remember what the purchase was for. So <laughs> that's the last thing you want. So just make it very clear. I like put the name of the product, for example, in here. And then the price plan type, if you again select, if it's a one-time payment subscription or payment plan, select one-time payment. And then here you set your price. So whatever it is, so if it's, I don't know, 497 or whatever you're selling this product for, and then you click the save button. I'm not gonna do this because once you've set up a price plan, you can't delete it. So you just wanna make sure that you're setting up the price plan correctly before you click the save button. And as I'm not actually gonna use this price plan for anything, it's just a demo video for you guys. This is why I'm not gonna save this right now. But once you have clicked the save button on your final template, this will update and you will see the name of this price plan, whatever you've named it here. So that's the setup process if you're selling a course or course bundle or a community access with your sales funnel. But now if you're selling an ebook or software product or audio file or something like that, the setup process is a little bit different. So I'm going to show you that now. So we're going to jump back into our digital product sales funnel and we're on the order form page still. Now I'm just going to delete what I've set up previously here. So I'm essentially just going to start again. So delete the resources and the tag and whatnot. And it's going to close out on this pricing. So now we're back to scratch where we started from before we set this order form page up to sell the course. So now let's say we're selling an ebook or a software product or an audio file, something like that. 
on the order form page, still come to the step configuration, scroll down and still choose digital product. Now we go to the resources and we also still going to select our tag and the tag was demo digital product tag, whatever you've named it, click save. So this is all exactly the same so far as if you were selling a course. But now when we click on resources, you know, the only other options we get here is course, course bundles or communities. We don't have options for ebooks, software products, audio files or anything like that. So this is why it's slightly different. So we've set up our tag, which means our customer will be tagged on upon purchase. But how are we going to deliver that product to them? Well, what I recommend is hosting your ebook or software product or audio file in either Google Drive or Dropbox. And then upon purchase, we can get our system.io account to email the customer the access to that file. So in this example, let's say we're selling an ebook. And like I said, this is going to be the exact same process for any of those types of products I just mentioned. So let's say this is my ebook and I've uploaded it to my Google Drive account. We're going to come back to our order form on system.io. Gonna scroll up to the top and now we need to go to the automation rules tab and now under automation rules i'm going to click add a rule and the trigger is new sale so upon new sale we then head over to these little dots menu in the right hand side click on edit automation rule now we have this button appears that says add action click on this and the action we want is send an email and now in order to set up the email we want to send to the customer automatically upon purchase, you need to click this little plus icon that's so small you could easily miss it. Click on that little button. And now here, window appears for us to write our email. And perhaps your subject line, you might say, thanks for your purchase of product name, something like that. And then you write the contents of your email in here. So I just typed out a quick message here. Now we want to head back over to our product that's hosted in, in this case, Google Drive. Click on the little dots menu. And now we want to click on this option that says share. And now it's really important where it says general access, you want to make sure from the drop down window that you've selected this option, anyone with the link. So now this means here you can copy the link. So I click on this, I've copied the link, which is access to this ebook. And now because I've set it to anyone with the link, this means anyone who receives this link can access the ebook. Now we go back to system.io and I'm gonna highlight these words here, click on the little chain icon to hyperlink this sentence. And now this is hyperlinked, customer will receive this email automatically upon purchase. They can click on this link and they're taken directly to the ebook to read it and download it. Then click on save and then we need to click on save rule. Really important, if you don't click that, then it won't be set up properly. So now this email is all set up, ready to go to deliver our digital product. The last step, come back to your step configuration page. And then you, again, you just need to set up your price plan for this product. And that's exactly the same as how I showed you before. So I don't need to re-show you those steps, it's exactly the same. Click save and you're good to go. Now, just so you know, upon purchase of your product, your customer is going to be moved to the next page in the funnel, which is your thank you page. And for this particular funnel, here is the thank you page. And of course, you can edit this how you want to. So there you go. That's how you can set up and deliver automatically your digital products using system.io. Now, if you want to use my digital product funnel template, then feel free. It's in the description below this video. So go ahead and grab that if you want to use it. If you got value out this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I do really appreciate it. Now, if you also want to know how to add upsell and downsell pages to your funnel, then this is next video you want to watch. Or if you want to know how to configure the action steps to deliver an order bump, then watch this video here.